Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Jose the Proud Millennial and today we are here in my confessional. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my shoe closet. I'm gonna show you the process of how I redid this little shoe closet. Before we continue, if you like home decor, interior design, or apartment living, go ahead and subscribe down below. And also, I just love getting to know so many of you on Instagram, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and here is my handle. Okay, so right when you walk into my apartment, there's this little closet right under the staircase because I have like an upstairs loft. And it's this awkward little room that I never really knew what to do with it. And I just really thought like, what a great place to put all my shoes, any accessories and kind of things like that, you know, stay organized. And I was noticing as I walked in and like took off my shoes, uh, they were like getting into a pile there. Much to my surprise, as it came along, I am actually really in love with the whole room. I found unique pieces that I think really have made this room so special. And I'm excited to share that process with you. So as I was thinking of the things that this little closet room needed, I knew I needed um, some shelving to put the shoes on. I needed, I already had the mirror and I know I needed that mirror so that I can look at my outfit at the end. I needed some hooks because I do go out hiking every morning and that's where I put like my hoodie and like my cap and stuff. So I did need some hooks in here. Um, I also knew I needed a, a small bench for me to sit on while I'm putting my shoes on. I also needed like a light fixture because the one in here was like literally just a light bulb. Literally like the plainest light bulb. So those are the things I knew I needed. By the way, because this is such a tiny room, some of the shots will be like in the vertical um, kind of format. It's just really hard to capture like a room in the horizontal format because like the room is super tiny. <laughs> so let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna show you the before but just be aware it's it's pretty bad here it is <sighs> just a ton of shoes i end up wearing <laughs> just random things in here i have this little shoe thing that was like nine bucks at like bed bath and beyond i think there's a chair there is a rug here that i put down just other random items and this weird fixture so yeah it's not cute at all but it has a lot of potential so here I am just clearing everything out. There's so many random things. When I moved in, I just stuffed stuff in there. Um, but yeah, I, so many things. And so I ended up taking up this door out, actually. I did not film it, but I did take out the door. I did take out the shelf and that rod. And here's what it looks like empty. So here we have the two bookshelves that I got um, to use for my shoes, a bigger one and a smaller one. So I couldn't really get a bigger one because that area, it's like the width would just not work out. So I decided to get stick with one big one, one smaller one. This one's from Ikea and the other one's from Target. Um, and it does leave this little corner spot, which I am intending to use for like anything I need to hide, like my umbrella. Um, some wrapping paper, things like that. So it is a kind of an, a conventional little way to hide some things. Um, I do kind of like the two levels. Next thing I did was hang up the mirror. Um, I think it would just open up the space. It was kind of a workout, but because this mirror is really heavy, but I got it done. So this is the stool I bought. I actually bought two of these. I ended up spending $15 for both of them. You can tell these are really old. So while I think this like teal vinyl is nice, I'm gonna replace it with some canvas. I really like the organic feel of the canvas. And I do like the wood color, but I actually think this would look much better in some kind of black because my mirror is brown like this, <laughs> pretty similar to this brown. So it is an antique, as you can tell. I'm gonna make sure that it's not as wobbly. I'm actually gonna take off these little nails. Um, once I add the canvas, I wanna put these back on so that they have some kind of thing that is authentic to it. So yeah. So this is what it turned out looking like. I, what I did to make it look a little more antique was like brush on some black paint and then I would wipe it off with like a towel. And I really like that it doesn't look just like a plain old black you know, like I have a chair that's plain black, you know, I didn't want that. I kind of wanted a more antique look. So yeah, I brushed it on, then I would wipe it off. And then I just used the canvas here. I struggled quite a bit, but 
Actually, I'm pretty proud of my job here. I did not record it. I, this is so hands-on that I totally just forgot. But um, there was a lot of folding and like stapling in the back, as you can see. And then I just nailed these back on and I really am happy that I saved these nails to finish it off. I have one more of these, so I'm wondering if I should do something similar or change it up. So. Um, let me know if you have any ideas. As I was looking for items to finish up this space, I saw the Studio McGee Target canvas, and I think it pulled everything together actually, and I'm really happy with it. I also added these hooks that are also from Target from the Hearth and Hand collection, and these are the same ones I used for my bathroom, and I just loved them, so I decided to use them in here too. After going through so many light fixtures, I felt really weird changing it out since I live in the rental and the wiring looked kind of weird. So I just got this lantern and popped it on to the light bulb. I have an LED light bulb and it it's holding up. So it actually added so much to the vibe and I'm really liking it. This paper lantern was $5 at Ikea. As you can see, it's just being held up by that light bulb and that's it. And now I just needed to add some finishing touches like this table added a little plant in there to add some greenery i also added these baskets which are also part of the studio mcgee target collection added this little bowl so that i can put my little necklaces and bracelets which i don't have many of them so i will be adding new ones and i added these h m home vases that i've had in the past they'll be stored here so whenever i them out to the open space they will come out but i also just wanted to put these in here for now since they were just stored away okay so i'll give you a little tour and here's me hello okay um so as you walk in you see there's a stool that i diy and redid wow it looks like a different whole different kind of deal and can you believe i only spent like 750 on this thing i know um and then we have the target studio mcgee canvas um which i'm i think really brought the place the the room together then we have my big mirror which is a fan favorite i think and i got this at home goods there is the lantern which i got from ikea for five bucks Okay, let's go back this way. So I'm sitting down. Um, this little table is from Home Goods, and it was about forty dollars. Then we have this olive tree, which at some point I will have to take out of here because they don't like. They need sun, um, but they look good for like a little while. And I got that from Trader Joe's, and I think those little pots from Marshalls, I believe. Very cool. Oh, there's a shoe out of place. Okay, so I have all my shoes. This is kind of kind of encouraged me to keep this many shoes. It actually worked out pretty perfectly. Um, but if I want to add, I will have to take one out. Unless I want to add like shelving up here, <laughs> might be a thing. And here are my hats. Um, this one's from Mexico. Um, I bought that in Mexico when I went to visit my family. This one's one that I made for New Year's Eve. And then that's one I just have. Um, here in this little bowl, I have my little key necklace and my silver bracelet, which I don't use all the time. So I just can have them here. I might add some new items. I took off that shelf and that rod. So I usually will have my cap and my hood here. This is just a random jacket, and when anyone ever comes over, they can hang their stuff here. And the rug is the one that I had before, and I actually, I thought I wouldn't like it, but I actually really like it here. It adds a lot of um, texture, and just a, a little bit of an interesting pattern. So, yeah, that's it. And I'm sure so many people will be taking selfies here, and... The overall look of this place ended up being so eclectic and I'm in, so in love with it. Like, I think I'm going to use a lot of inspiration from this little tiny room. I've shown it to a few friends who've been over um, and they love this little space. I mean, I am so lucky that I have so many, so much closet space in this place. 
I'm so lucky to have just like a dedicated place for my shoes. <laughs> like how wild is that? Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I will try to link any items that I can find down below. So if you want to shop for them. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed it. We will see each other very soon, but don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. See you.